make your way back to your seats. We have a few announcements this morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Well, it's good to see everyone here this morning. Good to see all these youngins here this morning. Amen. Praise the Lord. And uh, we praise God for that. And and uh, praise the Lord. We want to uh, we want to welcome you to Firmly First Baptist Church this morning. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, He's the reason why we're here. And so, if this is your first time visit, we'd like a record of your visit, and please fill out a visitor card. And drop it in the offering bag as it comes around. So, uh, praise God. I need to uh, get rid of something here. Okay, got it. Um, also, I want to draw your attention to uh, uh, Bible studies. We have Bible study uh, from 9.30 to 10.30 here. And I got the privilege of uh, teaching the kids this morning. So, that was, uh, that was uh, fun for me. And... Hopefully it was fun for them. I'm not sure how fun it was. It was in between. <laughs> 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 All right, and I will uh, uh, see me after church. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but uh, anyway, uh, praise the Lord. Uh, you know, our children are so important because if we don't train them in the ways of God, the world will train them in the ways of the world, right? Yeah, so uh, let's just train them in the ways of the Lord. Uh, also, um, uh, we have Bible study tonight at 6 and Wednesday night at 6. And so uh, keep those in mind. Um, had a great men's meeting yesterday. Hey. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, uh, Brother Guy and Frank and James and you know, people that helped with the cooking and everything like that, and had uh, had cooking going out on out in the parking lot, and had uh, a, I, I know we had 25 here, 25 men, and that was awesome. That was awesome, and uh, and then we uh, I I just shared with them, you know, the vision God had given me, and wasn't any mystery or anything. We're going to follow Christ, and we're going to the cross. So that was it. So that that was the uh, um, that was the theme, and so um, and and we're going to have to be the church that God uses in these last days. And so praise God for that. Also, women's meeting is the last Saturday of the month, November the thirtieth, here at the church at nine a.m. And all ladies are welcome. Now I'm going to we're going to be um, uh, I'm going to uh, uh, I'm going to be here for that, that meeting because we need to put the final touches on the Christmas dinner, uh, the 7th um, of, um, of December. Okay, so Christmas, the church Christmas dinner is going to be the 7th uh, at 6 p.m. Uh, we already have some of the food bought and different things, but we need to um, get a few of the um, you ladies to put their, your uh, uh, your touch on that because that's always important and so praise God for that and um, also if you want to catch us on YouTube we're on YouTube for the First Baptist Church and um, so uh, we'll praise the Lord for um, for modern technology I guess but um, you know but we spread the word everywhere we can right whether it be across social media or, or wherever it is, we, we're going to and we we were going to spread the word of God. So uh, praise the Lord, and it's good to see uh, Eleanor back. Yeah, yeah. Right. And it's really good to see uh, Larry and Esther back. They've been, they've been gone for about a year and a half, and they've come back, and uh, so we're praising God that they're back, and I've got to be here for a little while, and then they got, then they moved back to Alaska, you know. So, anyway, they're kind of snowbirds, you know, they fly south for the winter, and, and so uh, praise God for them, um, and uh, praise God for uh, 
for you men. We're praying for you uh, that uh, you'll pick up on uh, the vision of uh, the Lord and, um, and, and go there. And actually, no mystery. Uh, just doing what God told us to do. In, in our churches, we've tried to do a lot of things to produce uh, Christians and to produce ministers um, except what Jesus told us to do. You know, But if we do what Jesus told us to do, we're going to see multiplication uh, in the uh, not only this church but in this town and in, in other nations and other cities. You know, uh, because Jesus for three and a half years trained twelve men, and those twelve men turned the world upside down, or maybe they turned it right side up for the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. <coughs> so that's where we're going. <coughs> Excuse me. On the back of our bulletin, we have our church prayer request. And like you've heard me say many times, it's no time to quit praying. We have special prayer requests of Tom and Patty uh, Lindholm. Um, they, uh, Patty has, uh, has died of cancer. And uh, him, uh, Tom and her have been together since they were teenagers. And so that's a hard situation in their... Uh, relatives of um, uh, Lori's, Lori's and, and uh, Emma's. And so we're going to be praying for them. Also, there's a young man, five years old, named Gage. Uh, he has a brain tumor, and they sent him home to die. But I know a name that's above the name of a brain tumor. Amen. I know a name this above the name of sickness. Yes, Lord. I know a name that's above the name of death. Yes. I know a name that's above the name of sin. Yes. And his name is Jesus. Amen. But I want you to let me tell you your prayers also for Jean. She's going to go in for Tuesday for to hopefully have stents uh, put in, in her uh, heart and um, things like that. So we covered your prayers there. Uh, for Tuesday, and um, uh, so anyway, it's no time to quit praying, right? right. So let's go to the Lord in uh, in prayer uh, once again. Father, we just call upon your name, and Lord, we call upon the name of Jesus, because in the name of Jesus, we can see mountains moved. And Lord, I just pray, Father God, that Lord, uh, the mountain uh, of, uh, of Gage, this five-year-old boy, and with his brain tumor. I pray, Father, you would cast that brain tumor into the midst of the sea yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes. Lord, I pray, Father God, for Tom and Patty Lindholm, Lord God, with this pancreatic cancer. I pray, Father God, that Lord, uh, that Lord, um, uh, you would give us uh, grace in our time of need. I pray, Father God, that Lord, you'd give us strength, strengthen us with might in the inner man by your spirit, Lord God. I pray, Lord, for our families, Lord. I pray, Father, for the ones that are outside of Christ. I pray, Father, that, Lord, uh, that, Lord, we would be, um, Lord, I pray, Father God, that, Lord, we would be in Christ, Lord God. And, Lord, I pray that you draw them back, Lord God. And, Lord, I just, uh, I just pray, Father, Lord, for um, our elected, uh, newly elected president, Lord God. I pray that you'd protect him. I pray you'd put your angels around him. Lord, I pray, Father God, that Lord, I thank you, Lord, for your mercy that you have shed on this country once again. And Lord, I, I, I believe that it's because people prayed. I believe it's because people got your ear. And Lord, and, and Lord, you give us grace and mercy. And Lord, we thank you for that. But Lord, let us not take advantage and get puffed up in pride. But Lord, let us do what you want us to do. Uh, in this country. And Lord, I pray, Father God, that many people, even our enemies, Lord, we would love our enemies and they would come to you in, in faith believing, Lord God. And Lord, I just pray your richest and best blessings upon this church. I pray, Father, you'd strengthen us with might in the inner man by your spirit. I pray, Father God, that you'd heal us in spirit, soul, and body. Lord, in the name of Jesus, and Lord, we thank you, Father, for uh, things that you uh, give us. We thank you for these children uh, today, Lord God. And Lord, we'll be careful to give you praise, honor, and glory in this church. In Jesus' name, 
Amen. Amen. <coughs> Sister Shonda is going to come and uh, have our uh, and do our Bible reading today. Um, and so uh, let's stand for the reading of God's Word. <coughs> Thank you, Jesus. Um, our reading today is found in Psalms chapter 41 to 4. Okay. To the ch oh, wait. A Psalm of David. I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined unto me and heard my cry. He brought me up also out of an horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock and established my goings. And he had put a new song in my mouth, giving praises unto our God, many shall see it and fear and shall trust in the Lord. Blessed is that man that maketh the Lord his trust and respecteth not the proud, no such as turn aside to lies. Amen. 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 You can be seated.
not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. And you know, uh, I'm just glad the Lord uh, shares His Spirit with us. Amen? Amen? And He fills us with His Spirit. And you know the good thing about the Spirit of God? You can get filled more than once. You can get filled every day. Be, be, be not drunk with wine, but, but be filled with the Spirit, it says. And so, not by might nor by power, but by my Spirit. Not by might.
Jesus, that you have shown on this country. And Lord, I just pray that we would be yours in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.